Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and I'm going to show you how to use the Ericsson arched loading ramps. Now right away you're going to notice that these are going to be able to reach up to a very tall height, whether it be onto a gooseneck trailer or onto the bed of your truck. These are going to make it a lot easier to load any of those ATVs, side-by-sides, or any golf carts you might need to be loading onto a trailer or into the bed of your truck. So how these ramps are gonna differ from regular ramps, they're gonna have the arch design and the hinge in the middle of the ramp. This is gonna be your weakest point on your standard ramps. With this built design, that's what's gonna up it to 800 pounds of weight limit per ramp, which is gonna give you a total of 1,600 pounds for the pair. These ramps are gonna be made out of a heavy duty steel, so they're not gonna have the lightweight design like an aluminum ramp would be, but you are going to get that heavy duty aspect out of them. Now, as you'll notice, you're going to have a nice black powder coat finish to help resist against that rust and corrosion and this nice grid to give your tires that grip they need and allow that mud, dirt and rock to fall down through and not gum up your ramps. Now, what's going to set these ramps apart from a lot of other ramps is that they're going to come with these cam buckle straps. You will get two of them, one with each ramp. And these are designed to hold your ramp against your tailgate when you're loading your quad or anything else you might be loading. Now they are gonna have these nice convenient carrying handles that when folding it up, you don't have to worry about pinching your fingers. You can carry your ramps just like this, whether you're storing them in your house or in your truck. Each ramp is gonna be 80 inches long and 11 inches wide. They're also available in a single ramp if you need a replacement or you just need one ramp. They're very easy to get installed. Let's go ahead and show you how. Just take it, unfold it. Now you are gonna have to know a general location of where you need your ramp. Right behind us, we have our four-wheeler in place so we can kind of line it up with our wheels to know where it needs to go. Now that we have it in place, you want to make sure the front two corners are touching your tailgate. Then you can take the included cam buckle strap. Now when strapping these down, you want to strap them forward to the tow hook connections on your, on your hitch. And you can hook it in one of these holes on the platform itself, but I would resist doing that because that could cause unnecessary wear and tear on your strap. You just loop it through the handle there. Run it through and run it down onto your tow hook. And then you can cinch down your cam buckle straps. Now that we got our second ramp in place, we can go ahead and get our four wheeler up into our truck. Now, as you may have noticed, when I was loading the four-wheeler up into the truck, I was able to give it some gas to get it up in there, and our ramps didn't go anywhere. And that is due to our included cam buckle straps. They're holding the ramps tight against your truck bed so that they won't slide off when your tires begin to spin to get your momentum up. These are what's gonna give you that stability to load your four-wheeler up into your truck safely without having any issues with your ramps falling off. Now I'll go ahead and show you how quickly you can pack these up and get them stored underneath your four-wheeler. You start with your cam buckle straps, release them, unhook them. And then to fold up the ramps, you grab the two handles, fold them in half, and you can store them. And because of that folding feature, they're gonna fold up into a nice compact size, which will fit in any size bed of truck. It makes it so that you know that your ramps aren't gonna go anywhere. Now a question we've gotten before about these ramps is how tall are they at their tallest point when folded up? And that's gonna be here at the bracket and that's gonna be about four and a half inches. So as long as you have that clearance up underneath your four-wheeler, you should be able to slide them underneath it. Well guys, with all that being said, that's gonna do it for our look at the Ericsson Arch Loading Ramps.